Now with Meghan Markle's powerful New York Times essay revealing this morning she suffered a miscarriage. James Longman has the story. Good morning, James. Yeah, good morning, George. This is an extraordinary revelation from one of the most famous women in the world. Like so much of what she does, Meghan is leading from the front in sharing her very personal story, hoping to help the millions of others who suffered from miscarriages. Overnight, Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, opening up. She's revealed heartbreaking details of experiencing a miscarriage, writing in an op-ed for The New York Times, losing a child means carrying an almost unbearable grief, experienced by many, but talked about by few. The Duchess of Sussex describes the moment in July while caring for her son Archie when she says she felt a sharp cramp, realizing that she was losing her unborn baby. I knew as I clutched my firstborn child that I was losing my second. Hours later, I lay in a hospital bed holding my husband's hand. I felt the clamminess of his palm and kissed his knuckles, wet from both our tears. I tried to imagine how we'd heal. Thank you for asking, because not many people have asked if I'm OK. She reveals that this moment from last year's tour of Africa with Prince Harry, when the couple was dealing with intense media scrutiny, was an important lesson for her. Sitting in a hospital bed, watching my husband's heart break as he tried to hold the shattered pieces of mine, I realised that the only way to begin to heal is to first ask, are you OK? It's very unusual for members of the royal family to be so open about experiences in their personal lives, particularly ones that are so personal and so painful. The Duchess sharing her experience to help others, just as Chrissy Teigen and John Legend documented their experience with pregnancy loss, sharing these pictures on social media to help millions of others who've been through similar pain. It's designed for the people that were hurting, and, and John was very uncomfortable uh, taking them. But Megan's op-ed also applies that lesson of recognition and caring to a world turned upside down. This Thanksgiving, as we plan for a holiday unlike any before, many of us separated from our loved ones alone, sick, scared, divided, and perhaps struggling to find something, anything to be grateful for, let us commit to asking others, are you OK? In the article, Megan describes how she and Harry discovered that in a room of 100 women, 10 to 20 of them will have suffered a miscarriage. This is so common. She hopes to end the stigma. We send her and Harry our very best. We do. George. Important to get that message out. Okay, James, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.